Thank you for your services, sir. What we agree? Mr. Twiddle, but uh, Detective Sheriff Cochran requests your presence at the villa. The Count de Luca has been found dead. So what do we have here? Caught about three hours ago by Professor Westerfield. Wound on the victim. Suggest a bullet of low caliber, but of a velocity I've never seen before. Probably see a common criminal, sir. Don't see how the wound type can tell you where the criminal's hiding. It tells you many things, Officer Grady. Tells us that this controversial idea of using science to solve mysteries is blarney. Detective Sheriff Cochran, with all due respect, if we can find the bullet. I can use modern forensics and find the gun from where it was shot. Forensic science, Mr. Twiddle, does not take the place of good old-fashioned police work. I will need to take the body back to my forensic lab for further investigation. Do what you have to do, Twiddle. You have two days, and then the body's to be delivered to the mortuary. Dr. Jupiter Pratt, wealthy inventor, during the beginning of the war, he designed revolver pistols for the British Special Force. He's been known to create many dangerous devices along with his pistol arsenal. Two years ago, he spent eight months in an insane asylum, where he disclosed to his doctors a desire for a world of chaos and anarchy. He also expressed an interest in the concept of telepathy, reading people's minds. Interestingly enough, our own Count De Luca, as you know, was a well-known alchemist. And before he died, he announced publicly that he was on the verge of a chemical breakthrough of a substance that, when ingested, would enable the user with telepathic powers. It's not far to guess that our Dr. Pravis was looking for this. Mr. Twiddle, are you all right? <laughs> All I can offer is death. Mr. Twiddle! Mr. Twiddle, where are you going? Are you even sure Cochrane is in his office? I assure you, Mr. Miller, if he were in Sudan fighting this war, he'd be leaving his troops from behind a desk. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're telling me is this Dr. Pravis is aware of your exploits after ingesting a telepathic serum invented by a Count De Luca? Detective Sheriff, I felt Dr. Pravis's presence in my own mind. Felt as real as if he were standing in the room next to me. I had no knowledge of this. You don't have much knowledge of anything, do you? Twiddle, I can't have any more of your nonsense mucking up my case. You're now assigned to Mr. Mittel's case to find Madame Bodville's missing copper tube. I've had it with your gadget-filled nonsense. Well, Mr. Miller, my good friend, if we're to catch this evildoer, it appears that we must take matters into our own hands. Again. Mr. Twiddle! You've been in there for three days! Have you eaten anything? I'm coming to check if you're still alive. Mr. Twiddle? Mr. Miller, I'm on the verge of a brilliant discovery. Uh, come see. This 
looks like some type of mind-reading device. Yes, that is precisely what it is. Uh, don't touch that. Here, put this on. Now, listen, not a word. I uh, 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 not a word. Yes. Well, at least we know it works. Did you come to convict your suspect? Hello. Travis. Quite a monotonous contraption you have there, Twiddle. I see no real advantage it gives you. The device is only a channel, Doctor. I grew weary of our one-way conversations. In the end, is all the same. The mind is a glorious spectacle, is it not? It is a shame. It was quite an impressive device. Not very sporting of you, Mr. Miller. Do you see what your tomfoolery got you into? I do believe a thank you is in order, sir. Thank you. Next time I'll leave you to your own devices. Yes, well. Thank you, Mr. Miller. The case of the missing cockatiel, sir. Not bad, Twiddle. Madame Vaudeville will be pleased. Put the cockatiel on me desk. And Twiddle, you no longer have to regard the case of Dr. Price. He was reported dead last night. How fortunate. Sir, something's come up. God damn it, what? Minor formality, really, sir. The department needed a statement from the property owner of the land where Pravis was killed. Westerfeld. And? Well, he's gone, sir. What? He's gone, sir. Where is he? Book passage to America. Set sail just this morning. Sir, Mr. Miller, we have not a moment to lose. Prepare yourself, Mr. Miller, for we must apprehend Westerfeld before he reaches America. And if he's as sly as I can believe, we must be exceptionally covert. And how shall we go about that? 